Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today, jumping straight in, I have had a revamp of my hairstyle. So you've probably noticed from a lot of my clips lately that I've been really rocking some quite a lot of volume and those sort of nice 1950s, those style trends I really, really love from that era. Lots of volume in the front, so those pompadour styles, but more volume in the front and now slightly off to the side as it's grown longer. So my hair now is to about my nose um, and bottom of my nose, or if not a little bit longer. And I'm really, really enjoying all that length and particularly all that volume I can create. So jumping straight into this new haircut, which I've had this morning, as you can probably see, you may not even notice any hair here, but I really, really have right down to the bare skin literally touching from my ear here upwards to about a naught, then gradually up to about a 0 0.5 and then here a very very defined line and then up to about maybe one and a half to a two and then the top is just left so again here as you can see really down to a naught, 0 0.5 all the way up and then we've got straight to about one and a half and a two in here and in the back we've got a really defined line and then a really nice feature going on in the back which if you've watched any of my clips before you'll know I really really enjoy. I will be attaching a picture for you to be able to see as well. Um, it's a style I really really liked. It's the same person who's been cutting my hair for many years now um, and I really have a great rapport with her and she's absolutely brilliant. So I've had my hair now cut, oh, goodness me, must be nearly two months ago now and it's just way past my nose and I'm really able to get some nice length uh, some nice style and some nice volume there creating really nice styles. So how have I styled my hair? So I have gone in today from sh uh, freshly shampooed and conditioner from Cenoroxal, uh, the gel based minty sort of formulation, really fresh, really invigorating and really helps boost your hair, giving you the perfect canvas for an amazing hairstyle with lots and lots of volume. It works for thinning hair and it works for fine hair, it really lifts every hair away from the scalp, creating immense volume and giving you a great style to work with you when you're creating your style. So like what I've done today, I have gone in blow drying this with a small radial brush which is my favorite you would see this features in a lot of my clips literally as i'm drying my hair i'm lifting up from the front directing it over and at the side i'm really lifting that up and getting some real height and volume and then lifting that towards one side then again on the other lifting it up and over again so literally once that's done and then in the back i'm just brushing it down and sort of just moving my fingers back and forth all the way through just to get that dry it's a nice texture and lift once i finish with the brush very often what i do then is literally pull away with a hairdryer in uh so the hairdryer in one hand and then i pull upwards with my hair and just really shake my hair around so I get some nice lift there as well. What I then do is I jump in with a product which I'm using at the moment. This is by Schwarzcroft Got To Be Glued and it's a really nice product. It creates a nice lot of texture and a nice lot of strength when you're creating really high high volume looks you want that real nice stability that nice structure so i use about half a golf ball size amount of that run that through my hands and then through my hair literally through my fingers all the way through and then literally hold my head upside down sounds a bit crazy but it certainly does work and then my favorite product ever this one here by schwarzkopf got to be glue blasting free spray quick spritz of this all over my hair and then literally stand back up straight and then literally pull my hair with my fingers into the style I want today which I've gone for is some volume all at the side here and then pulling that over and directing it over off to one side and then finishing this one off with either the end of the brush or literally pulling it through the teeth here and then smartening everything up and then finally being a last spray of the blasting free spray all over and as you can see I'm left with a pretty neat and snazzy pardon the pun, <laughs> uh, hairstyle. And I have to admit, I really, really like it. I've got a whole host of all different comments this morning, compliments, and yeah, really, really like it. I think it makes me look more youthful and it's something which I will be carrying on now because what I've done is I've, for a while, I've kept this quite low and I've grown it out, but because it was looking quite heavy and almost washing me out quite a lot, I've taken it quite up higher. Through, uh, through the guidance of who usually cuts my hair and she's amazing and she really really described what would be better for me for what I was trying to achieve which is a real tight undercut with the, the hair growing longer so I'm trying to get some nice length on top as well because of hearing aids I want to sort of have that flexibility of being able to still cover them up on days but I also want to have those high voluminous looks so of course you need quite a bit more length with that and it's all working out great so really really love the style it's fresh and it's trendy for me and I really really like the look as I say I will be attaching a picture of what the Back looks like but this is a really fresh look for me and it really smartens up perhaps not too different on the top but certainly on the sides and just that small change of taking things up higher has really really transformed my whole look so thanks very much for watching and until next time we will see you then bye now